Hello, my name is Ophir. I'm an English teacher. Welcome to my online English lesson. Let's be friend. I teach English in the third and the fourth grades uh, in Derech School in Kfar Yona. I really like to teach English. Our lesson today is Let's be friends. So, let's continue. What will we do today? Today we are going to stretch our, uh, both our minds and our bodies. We will learn new words. We will guess what the story will be about. And we will read a story and understand it. What do you have to prepare for the class? You need an English notebook and you need a pencil with an eraser. I know that you have a notebook in your room and I know that you have a pencil. So bring it on and let's start. The notebook is ready. Great. So let's start the lesson. Before we begin, let's stretch. Come on, everybody, stretch. Take both of your hands, stretch it up, up, up high till you feel your hands. Then stretch your shoulder really strong. Good job. The other shoulder, stretch it really good. Good job. Take your fingers and touch your toes. Finger to your toes for 10 seconds. You cannot see me do this, but I know that you're doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Shake your hands. Shake it real good. Shake your legs. Shake it real good. And now you are ready to start. Good job. So, I want to ask you some questions. Do you have a best friend? What do you like to do together? What do you like to do that your friend doesn't like? Maybe you like to swim and your friend likes to cook. What does your friend like that you don't like? Maybe your friend likes to play basketball, but you like to dance. Think about it. My friend likes to watch movies and I like to bake. So, before we begin, I want to show you some words that you need to know. The first word is age. This boy, his age is 10 and the other one is 12. Age is how old are you? You uh, should be, your age should be 10 or 9 if you're in fourth grade. My age is 26. So age, 26, 10 or 9. The second word is also. Also, something that I like to do and or I am a part of it. Like, you like to dance, I also like to dance. You like to run, I also like to run. You have a sister, I also have a sister. Pool. Pool is a place full of water when you can where you can swim. That's what we do in a pool. The fourth word is birthday. A birthday is a big party with a big cake and balloons and the party hat. I love birthdays. The fifth word is different. Do you see that the spots are black, but the yellow is different? This is different. The sixth word is hobby. Hobby is something that you like to do in your free time, like singing or playing the guitar or cooking, horseback riding. In my free time, I like to bake, bake delicious cakes and cookies. My hobby is baking. And the seventh and final word is month. We have 12 months in a year, January, February, March, April now this is a month so repeat after me age also pool 
birthday, different, hobby, and month. So now, now you have one minute. Look at the words and look at the pictures. It's all messy. You need to match the word to its picture. For example, one is hobby. Where is the picture of hobby? Two is age. Where is the picture of age? Open your notebook and write. One is mm. Two is mm. You have one minute, you're good to go. Good job, kids! Now, let's see if you did it right. I know you did. So, let's see the answers. These are the answers. Hobby is something that we do in our free time. Age is how old, how old are you? Month is January, February, March, April. Different is the different spot. Birthday is a big celebration, also something that I also like, and pool, a place where you swim. Good job. Now let's move on. Uh, before we begin, look, what do we have in here? Look at the titles, uh, the title and the two pictures. The title is My Friend and I, and we have a picture of a girl who plays the guitar and a comic book. Open your English notebook and write. What do you think this story is going to be about? You see my friend and I, and you see a girl plays her guitar and a comic book. You don't need to take one minute or some time, but just think. I give you 10 seconds to think what the story is going to be about. Did you write something in your notebook? So, we know that this is about a friend. We have a guitar, we have a comic book. Let's move on. So, now you are going to see the story, but don't read it. No, no, no. What you need to do is to count how many capital letters there are. Here is the capital letters. Can you see the word, the letter band below? This is all the English capital letters. So, look at the story and count how many capital letters do you see? Here is the story. Look, where do we see a big letter? Not a small letter, a big letter. Count how many. Are you counting? Give you five seconds and I'll show you the answers. Okay, good job. So, the first capital letters we can see are the green ones. We see three capital letters in green. Why do we have so many capital letters in the title? Because each title is written with capital letters. Every word starts with a capital letter in a title. My friend and he doesn't have a capital letter, but it's, uh, we will talk about it in another lesson. And I, 
my friend and I. Three capital letters in the title. Then we have so many blue capital letters. Why do, you, why do we have so many blue capital letters in the story? Because, do you know? I know that you know. Every new sentence begins with a capital letter. When we write a new sentence, we begin the sentence with a capital letter. So we know that this is a new sentence and not a sentence before. And we have the pink capital letters. What are they? Do you know? I know that you know. Pam, March, Beth, April. Those are capital letters for names. Every name starts with a capital letter, so we know it's a name. Names of people, names of month, names of places like Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, New York. So, let's see what did we learn now. When do we use capital letters? At the beginning of a, a sentence like, my parents are teachers. Do you see that the M is big? We have capital letters when we write names of people, places, month, days of the week, and more. Like Ami, it's a name. Ophir, it's a name. Eden, it's a name. April, it's a name of a month. Monday, it's a name of the days of the week. Like Sunday, Monday, they're all written in, a capital, in capital letters. And in a title, when we write a new title of a story, a book, and an article we use capital letter like five little monkeys each word starts with the capital letters so we know so much already we know seven new words do you remember pool age month we know the name of the story i will tell you my friends and i if you forgot we know the names and the in the month in the story Beth, Pam, April, March, because these words have capital letters at the beginning. So, if we know all that, let's read the story. Are you with me? I will read the sentence, you will read the same sentence. I will read the second sentence and you repeat after me. Are you ready? My friend and I. Hi. My name is Pam and I'm 10 years old. My birthday is in March. My hobby is swimming. There is a big pool next to my house. I also like drawing comics. This is my favorite comic. Still reading? Let's, be, let's continue. This is my friend Beth. <clears throat> Her birthday is in April. We are the same age. Beth and I have different hobbies. She, like playing, she likes playing computer games. She also likes playing the guitar. So now, after we read it together, I'm reading it. All, all the story from the beginning really fast so you can hear it and let's move on. My friend and I. Hi, my name is Pam and I'm 10 years old. My birthday is in March. My hobby is swimming. There is a big pool next to my house. I also like to draw in comics. This is my favorite comic. This is my friend Beth. Her birthday is in April. We are the same age. Beth and I have different hobbies. She likes playing computer games. She also likes playing the guitar. So, we have Pam, we have Beth, we have her, we have her birthdays. Their, hob their hobbies. So, practice time. Let's practice what we read. Are you ready? Wake up. So, complete the sentences with, with words from the word bank. You have a word bank, look below, 
with words from the story. So you need to read the five sentences and to complete the missing words. I will read you the sentences without the words and then I will give you one minute to finish all along. So, my name is Pam and I am mm years old. My birthday is in two. I like mm comics. This is my favorite comic. Three, this is my friend mm. Her birthday is in April four. Beth and I have different Beth and I have mm hobbies. Oh, I got <laughs> I gave you this. Use it. Five. She likes playing computer games. She mm, likes playing the guitar. So you have the answer for four, if you remember, and you have five sentences. Start answer. So, did you complete all the sentences? Let's see the answers. I will show you the, answer na the answers now. Look if you did it right. One, my name is Pam and I am 10 years old. My birthday is in March. Two, I like drawing comics. This is to draw. When you draw something like a heart or a square, this is my favorite comic. Three. This is my friend Beth. Her birthday is in April. Four. Beth and I have different hobbies. Five. She likes playing computer games. She also likes playing the guitar. Really good. So now let's move on. What we are doing now? Another practice. You need to read the sentences and write yes or no. You don't need to write all the sentence. Write one, two, three, four, five in your notebook and then mark yes, no, yes, no. Question now, the sentence number one is the name of the writer is Beth. Yes or no? Two, Pam likes to swim. Three, Pam and Beth are 10 years old. Four, Beth likes to play basketball. Five, Pam and Beth are friends. Read all the sentences from the beginning and write yes or no. You have one minute.
welcome back. So, did you complete all the sentences? Did you write yes or no? Let's see the answers and see if you did it right. So, the name of the writer is Beth. No, the name of the writer is Pam. Pam likes to swim. Yes, and she has a big swimming pool next to her house. Three, Pam and Beth are 10 years old. Yes, because they are in the same age. Do you remember? Four, Beth likes to play basketball. No, Beth likes to play the computer and to play the guitar. And five, Pam and Beth are friends. Yes, they are really good friends. So, let's see what we are doing now. What did we learn today? Let's see all the things we learned together. And we learned so much. First, we learned new words. Do you remember? We learned how to say pool, hobbies like baking or playing basketball. We learned uh, what is age, that your, your age is 10 and my age is 26. We learned so much more. We learned also and so much more, so much uh, words that we know now. And then we learned why do we look at the title of the, and the pictures? Because when we look at the title and we look at the picture of a story, we know what it's going to be about. Like if it's going to be about friends, about animals, about a family. And three, we learned what can we learn from capital letters. If we see capital letters in a text, it can be three reasons. Or a title of a story of, or other text. Or a beginning of a new sentence. Or a name names like name of people and name of an animal like if you called your uh, your dog charlie it will be with capital letter names of month like april march december november names of days like sunday monday tuesday they're all written with capital letters so now i want you to work really hard let's see what we are going to do now Another practice, a bigger practice, not like before. You need to open your notebook. You need to write three titles. Pam, Beth, Pam, Beth, and me, about me. Under each title, write name, like you see, age, birthday, and hobbies. Name is, what's your name? Age is, how old are you? 10, 9. Birthday, like what is the month they were born? And hobbies, what they like to do. Complete the uh, information about Pam, about pa uh, Beth, and about yourself. What's your name? How old are you? What is your birthday? And what are your hobbies? You have the text in here. Do you see the text? Look at the text and answer all the information. So you have 10 minutes. That's a lot of time. If you finish everything and you still have time, write about your father, mother, best friend, teacher, or somebody that you want. Write his, his name, age, birthday, and hobbies. So you have 10 minutes and I'll see you then.
I'm sure you're doing a great job. Don't forget what's their name, what's their age, when is their birthday, in what month, March, April. What are their hobbies, as what do they like to do? And about yourself, what is your age, when is your birthday, and what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Do you like to swim? Do you like to bake? Do you like to do sports, maybe? Think and maybe add colors, make it look good. Okay, I know you can. I'll see you later. Keep doing a good job.
so happy to be with you again. So, did you write all the information? I know you did. Let's see what you did. I'll show you the answers and check if you did it right. So, check your answers. Pam. The name is Pam. She is 10 years old. Her birthday is in March. And their hobbies are swimming and drawing comics. Is that what you wrote? Second one. Beth, her friend. The name is Beth. She is 10 years old. Her birthday is in April. And their hobbies are playing computer games and playing the guitar. And about yourself. I don't know what you did. I said what I did. My name is Ophir. I'm 26 years old. My birthday is in March. It was not that long time ago. And my hobbies are baking and running. So, let's see what you can do now. Write the sentences in your notebook. I will give you 30 seconds for that. You don't have to write everything. I can read, say, and write new words. Wow, that's fun. Open, write. Two, I can guess what a story will be about before I even read it. Why? Because you can look at the title, you can look at the pictures and think what it's going to be about. Three, I can read and understand a story in English. Wow, that's great. If you can read and understand a story in English, you will be a really good English student. I'm really proud of you and I had the best time with you. So, thank you very much for watching. I had a great time with you. So remember, I am Ophir, I am an English teacher, and I really, really like to teach you English. Hope we will meet soon. Bye-bye.